Hi, today I'm going to talk about these PDP controllers, Xbox controllers you get at GameStop. Are they worth it? Especially if you have Windows 7. Now, the one problem I have with these controllers is if you have Windows 7 and it cannot install, you could be in for a hard time. To actually get these to pick up, you actually have to update all of your Microsoft Windows drivers. Unfortunately, the beginning of next year, Microsoft is going to stop support for Windows 7. So, if you run out and say you buy one of these drivers, uh, not drivers, but, excuse me, game controllers, then next year you could be hurting if you have to reinstall your operating system. It is a royal pain to get these to work. Now, I'm working on my girlfriend's computer over here. Um, I just ordered her a large 2 terabyte hard drive. The one she had in there was a 750 gigabyte. So, I'm going much bigger than what she had in there. First thing I did when I plugged this controller in it gave a 37 error. It, Windows cannot initialize this device code or error 37. So everything I read up even from Microsoft is basically said well you need to update your drivers. You go to the people that made the device and get a device driver. Well I did that. I installed the device drivers and unfortunately it still gave the same error. So I started doing some research. Unfortunately even if you get the device drivers from the PDP website they will not install unless Windows is completely updated. So are these controllers worth it? Now? Possibly. The beginning of next year no, it's not worth it. Um, right now, I am updating. I apologize for the video quality. I do not have my big camcorder out. I ended up getting another one of these cheap little camcorders because I have some stuff to do outside. <clears throat> and I didn't want to take my big camcorder out <clears throat> with my laptop. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm having to update Windows. Now, unfortunately, I apologize for the quality. This camcorder just really stinks. It's the exact same one I had before. But I found this one on eBay, brand new, for $7, still in the package. And right here is what I'm having to download and update. Net Framework. And here's the PDP controller drivers that I downloaded straight from their site, the PDP site for that controller. Neither one of these drivers will work. So, if you install the driver and you still get that error code, <clears throat> which is um, this device cannot initialize, and right now it's installing Net Framework. 3.51 and I have a higher net framework than that installed <clears throat> excuse me so the question is is the Xbox One PDP Xbox One game controller that you can buy from eBay or GameStop and that's where my girlfriend bought this one from GameStop worth it? The answer is no. Like I said, now it may be worth it. If you have Windows 7 and everything's updated, yeah, it will pick up. But if you have to do a fresh install of Windows, say next year, say Windows crashes, or you have to do a reinstall because your hard drive crashes, and you have to put a new hard drive in. 
you will never get this driver uh, not driver but this device this controller to work again because it has to get the drivers from Microsoft and once again Microsoft is stop, going to stop supporting all Windows 7 the beginning of next year now she has her DirectX updated she has Visual CC clear from 2005 to 2017 installed on her machine and this will not pick up because it has to go and download stuff from Microsoft for Windows 7 now if you have Windows 8.1 or say 10 um, I have seen online when I was researching this even some people with Windows 10 was having problems with this controller anyway I just wanted to let you know about this um, like I said I do have this little lousy camcorder again for a reason um, I'll talk about that in a second in fact let me show you what reason I have for buying this again as you can see my vans out there and behind it we have a Starcraft STA six pop-up camper and someone gave that to us and actually uh, they did give it to us because well it needs a lot of work and I'm going to end up turning that into a hard-sided camper and I needed something to take outside with me when I start doing this so I can show you what I'm doing and I'm going to probably end up putting a makeshift shower, makeshift bathroom in it. Uh, we already have a portable toilet, five gallon uh, tank, everything. Um, it's one with a lid that, with the container that comes out the bottom. So we already have a toilet for it. Um, what I'm going to do is we purchased a fold up shower. and I'm going to make a frame for the bottom that the shower will fit into and the toilet can fit in there the shower will be in a plastic tote or something I will make and that way we can use the restroom take showers inside of that camper um, what I'm wanting to do with it is to actually make to where the roof still raises and lowers at least until we are we get it to where we're taking it and then I will just make it all solid walls so it's just gonna be basically a little ice fishing hut something like that but anyway uh, once again I'm updating her windows and the only problem I have with this complete problem I have with this since it does not work without updating this is a fresh install of Windows 7 and there's no antivirus on here there is nothing on here so I'm really taking a risk downloading anything but like I said I wanted to talk about this controller if you have Windows 7 avoid this controller because even with their own device drivers you cannot install this PDP controller Xbox controller on Windows 7 without downloading updates from Microsoft and once again they are going to stop all their updates next year they're ending support for Windows 7 so what I did on my girlfriend's computer over here is I reinstalled Windows 7 I prayed I would never have to take it online because I don't want her to get viruses or anything else and she had me put Linux on it as a dual boot so she could use Linux online still play her games and you know watch movies and videos and stuff on Windows 
but unfortunately it has to go online just to update to install you know an Xbox one you know Xbox controller this is just a um, PDP Xbox controller you buy at GameStop you can buy them at Amazon eBay and it says PDP this is a wire controller for Xbox one um, it has www.pdp.com that's where you can get the drivers for it but like I said unfortunately getting the drivers for this controller is pointless unless Windows 7 if you have 7 or any version of Windows is completely updated and once again next year Microsoft Windows 7 they're stopping support for it so if you have Windows 7 and you want a controller like this make sure you have all your updates is it worth the money no because next year you will not be able to update Microsoft anything if you have Windows 7 so if you have to reinstall it say you buy this in December and you update everything on Windows 7 and then say February you get a virus your computer crashes your hard drive crashes and you have to reinstall 7 you'll never be able to use this controller again anyway I just wanted to show you and talk about this controller and show you the steps you have to go through to get this thing to work there have been a lot of people online that have had serious problems getting this controller to install first you have to update you know of course you have to have your DirectX your Visual CC packets you have to install that framework you have to update all your Windows updates for this to even pick up so if you're having a problem installing one of these on Windows 7 you have to update Windows 7 updates through Microsoft Update you have to have Net Framework installed at least 3.5 anyway I'm gonna get off this video it's already 12 13 minutes long I apologize for the quality like I said these little camcorders stink I just did not want to drag out my um, camcorder my big camcorder and hook it up to my laptop because well right now I'm doing this of course but I wanted you to see the steps and what you have to go through if you have a controller like this that will not pick up first thing you have to do and see right now it's updating that framework 3.51 and I already have that framework like 4.5 on here or something like that so apparently it takes net framework 3.5 or 3.51 anyway like I said if you have a controller like that and you have Windows 7 or you're thinking about buying a controller from GameStop if it's a PDP controller or pretty much any other Xbox controller unless it's an original Xbox controller that Microsoft may already have the drivers for installed when you get your drivers installed any generic Xbox controller is going to be a royal pain to set up so if you're having problems with it update your windows while you have a chance make sure net framework is installed at least 3.5 and then once everything's installed reboot your system and if it doesn't pick up then and only then go to PDP and download their device drivers and try that anyway I'm facing let you go Sorry, it's been a while since I put a video up. Um, I've been a little bit busy. Things have been real hectic here. And everyone have a good day.